Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Mary and welcome to another Craft Day Monday where every Monday I post a new video. In today's video I am going to be showing you how I made this octopus that I have here. Only we're not going to be making it this size, it's going to be a smaller version of this. I post this little guy on um my uh, Facebook uh, crafting page and a lot of, of the crafters liked it and asked if I could do a tutorial and I said I would but once again it will not be this size it, I don't have enough workspace in my crafting room to make it this big so we are going to be making it a little bit smaller so what you're gonna need for this project is you're going to need um, aluminum foil, you're going to need a lot of foil, you're going to need masking tape, you're going to need paper towel, and or you can use tissue paper, whatever you have on hand, and you're going to be needing pony beads. This is what you're going to, this is everything you're going to be needing, and you're going to need hot glue and a glue gun. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera down so we can just get into the video. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my glue gun on, let that get hot. So the first thing I did was I took a piece of aluminum foil and I just tore off a strip and what you're going to do is basically you're just going to, you're just going to make a long cylinder like this and I did four. And what you're going to do is once you take your cylinders, you're going to go ahead and you're going to place it like this. And then you're going to do it this way. And then you're going to do it this way. And these will give you his eight legs. And then once you do that, since I dropped my tape on it, I'm going to do it again. So once you do that, you're going to take your masking tape. And you're just going to go ahead, hold it like this, and we're just going to tape everything down. So you're going to go ahead and tape that. And once you get it taped, this is what it's going to look like. So this is what you should have once you get everything taped. This is what it should look like. So now that we have this part here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take another piece of that foil and you're going to make a ball. So you're just going to tear and we're going to go ahead and you're just going to make a ball like this. So you're just going to go ahead and you're going to use uh, two or three pieces of foil to get the head to the size that you want. Here's mine here. So once you get your head to the size that you want it to be, you're going to go ahead and you're going to glue everything down and as you can see, it's starting to, it will start to take shape. So I am just going to go ahead and just add one more piece of foil to it. So I'm going to go ahead and go like this. And we're just going to wrap this around. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead. And I am going to go ahead and this is what it looks like. And we're just going to go ahead and stick this down. So once you have your head in, in glued in, in place, we're going to go ahead and take our glue gun. And we're just going to go around here. And we're just going to secure this a bit. And then we're going to go ahead and add some masking tape. Now this is probably going to be uh, maybe two part, this probably is going to be a two part video because each step is a little bit um, long. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our masking tape and we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to go and we're just going to wrap it around and we're also going to be wrapping the legs and masking tape also and we also will be covering that masking tape with um, paper towel 
And what right now what I'm doing is I'm just taking my masking tape and just make sure that the head is nicely secured to the body. And that's why I went ahead and used a little bit of hot glue just for a bit of to just make sure it doesn't go anywhere while we're wrapping our other. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're just going to wrap this whole thing in masking tape. So I'm going to show you the head, the process of the head, and then I'm going to go ahead and wrap everything. But what you're going to want to do is you're just going to make sure that this whole entire thing is covered in tape. And it doesn't matter how you... Which way you go about wrapping it in masking tape, you just need to make sure that you got it wrapped. And I know it's probably a, little, a bit hard for you to see because everything is light, but all I'm doing is basically just covering this in tape. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to try to dim, to turn down my light. Maybe that would help. Okay, so, yeah. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and continue to wrap this all the way around. Now that you got the concept of how to wrap the head, I'm going to go ahead and do one of the legs. So you're just going to take your tape and you're just going to go ahead and you're just going to go all the way around. So basically, you're just wrapping this all the way around this all the way around our octopus leg and we're going to go ahead and can you to do that so now that you have almost your whole octopus wrapped in tape we're just going to go ahead and do this last one here and all I'm doing once again is just taking off some tape and we're just going to start it right here and all you're doing is basically once again you're just going to go ahead and wrap this tape around our little octopus leg. I'm just going to rip that off because it kind of got stuck on itself, which is fine. So I'm just going to hold this like this. I'm just going to put that there and we're just going to go ahead and all you're doing at this point is just wrapping. So you want to wrap all the way around and then you're going to turn it over to make sure that you don't have no spots, no uh, foil showing after you get it all wrapped so you're just going to continue to wrap and once like I said this is just a long process it took me um, three days to make that big octopus I worked on that for three days total and so I knew that if I tried to do one that size it would be a super long video and I didn't want it to be real long it's already going to be maybe two parts I'm going to try to do it in two parts. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to add a little bit of tape here. And make sure that you don't get the, when you get your foil, don't get none stick or the tape won't stick to it. You want to get something that the tape is going to stick to because you want the tape to stick to the foil so you can go ahead and wrap it. Now let's turn it over and see if we missed any places that needs a little bit of tape covering the foil. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit here because clearly I can see that I that needed some. And I have a couple spots here. So we're just going to go ahead and wrap those with, uh, with our tape to make sure that we got everything covered. So now we have everything covered and this is what it should look like. This is what you should have. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to cover uh, this whole thing in paper towel and then we'll add some other details. So I'm going to get some glue and some paper towel. So here in this bowl I have a little bit of water. And I'm just going to go in with some school glue. Now this is where it's going to get a bit messy. And um, 
I don't mind getting my hands dirty, but um, so I'm just gonna give my put my finger in here and just give this a quick, just a quick mix. And all we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take strips of the paper towel and I'm just gonna try to angle my camera down a bit so y'all can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this in the paper towel the um, our paper towel in the glue mixture and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna cover this octopus in this tape I mean the, <laughs> I'm so sorry we are basically taking our paper towel and we're just gonna dip in it in our glue mixture and we're just gonna go ahead and just cover the octopus with this paper towel and then we'll this will um and then after we get this covered and we let this dry we'll go ahead and add the pony beads for the suction cup and then we'll um we'll glue everything together so right now i'm just going to turn this so i can see i don't want to have no no wrinkles for the face So that's what we have, and I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more glue. I didn't want to just use all glue because I wanted it to be, I didn't want it to be super sticky. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue tearing off my paper towel, and we're going to go ahead and work on his legs. And like I said, this this is going to get a bit on the messy side but I don't mind I don't mind a little mess and uh, if you are gonna make this 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 probably be would be something that the little ones would like to do you know so they can help if they like to get their hands dirty uh, I think this may be something that they would like to do so, and I'm trying to get in frame, but all I'm doing is sticking my glue in there and just um, adding it to my, um, my legs. So... I'm going to go ahead, tear off another piece, rip it. We're going to dip it in our little mixture. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, this is going to be a little bit of a process. So you might want to just go ahead and put something on TV that you like to watch and just finish wrapping it all the way around. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and wrap it. So I'm just going to continue to wrap around and then I'm going to go ahead and get my mess cleaned up and set and let this dry. So now this is what we should have. So we have it all covered and um, I went ahead and cleaned up my mess and now we have everything covered and um, tape and uh, tissue paper or paper towel. I, I'm going to go ahead and um, grab a few more pieces of paper towel because I see that I have a little bit of a, a, that a spot that I missed here, but I can just kind of smooth that out a bit like that. So this is what it looks like. And now um, I have to let this set 
overnight to um so I can move on to the next part. So um I'm just gonna go ahead now and um like I said, this most definitely gonna be a part two because I as of right now I can't do anything to this because it's still wet. So I need to let this set to dry, but this is the start of it, and um this will be part one and when I do part two, I'll go ahead and add the uh, little pony beads for the sectioning cup. And then um, once we do that, you can go ahead and paint it. But um, I will come back with the part two to this because, like I said, right now it needs to set down. It needs to set out and dry. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera back up. So, yeah, um, here it is again. I'm going to hold it up. This is what it looks like, and I'm, I went ahead and put it on the um, wax paper just for easy cleanup, but um, yeah, so uh, if you like this video, please give me a like and a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead, it, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to become part of my YouTube family, and with that being said, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my videos and uh please remember uh this is part one please come back for part two where we add the suction cups and the hair and the eyeglasses and then we'll go ahead and paint it so yeah thank you again for watching this video and i hope you all have a nice day bye